right, I'll make a quick video about uh, video settings. I've seen a lot of people still use Glide and Draw for some reason. But now on the launcher, there's D2GL. So you enable that. And white screen, that's important. Skip to battle net, I guess it's also good. And this two are for sound. So if you want better sound, you can enable one of them. And in game, if your game doesn't have like these bars at the bottom, so you're not in widescreen, if you don't have these two things. So you go to uh, video option and you go to uh, 1068 by 600. That's the maximum you can get. And after that, press control letter O. And I have my game on full screen. You can uncheck that if you don't want it. And you can have custom window size. So let's say 720p for some reason. And then I click top right the window thingy. But I prefer personally to have it at full screen. And I uncheck unlock cursor. Because if you check this, your game's not going to be locked to the game window. So that can be annoying. Vsync, it's just gonna synchronize with your monitor uh, FPS. Uh, some people are having problem with Vsync, so if your game is choppy and laggy and whatnot, you can remove that, click apply. If it's still laggy, what you can do is just remove uh, FXAA and then click, uh, or you don't have to click apply, so just remove that if it's problematic for some people. For some people. Um, I don't use maximum background FPS if you're streaming, especially because if you tab out, you, your game's gonna be uh, all laggy. I mean, it would look laggy for the stream, so uncheck that if you're streaming, especially. Auto minimize, I don't use this. This is really bad. If you uh, tab out again, it's gonna minimize the screen. And dark mode, it just make this window uh, dark. So leave it as is. For graphics, uh, this is where your shader goes. Uh, this one, go preset and then FSR plus SMAA quality. I like this one. Uh, also, I like FSR and SMMA. The, it might have the same name, but the other one is like quality in parentheses. So it's a bit different, not too different, but you know. Uh, also, my favorite is this one, XBRZ. And then freescale. The other ones don't look as good as just regular free uh, freescale. So what you can do is either like have the window open on the side and then look at your character to see how it looks like. This one is very smooth, so I like this one. Luma sharpen doesn't make a big difference because uh, of the shader that I'm using, but uh, so I leave it as a as it is right now. Fix a it's anti aliasing and keep it at, at high. And the color grading, I think by default it's actually color one, which makes the game pretty dark. So what I like doing is just I like the game brighter personally, so I just use default. Uh, bloom, I keep it off because uh, bloom effect is really bad. You can see the waypoints super bright. If I make a portal, it's like a flashbang. It looks really bad, so I don't like using this. And feature HD text looks really good, so if I disable it. The text doesn't look bad because of the shader that I'm using, but with HD text, it looks so clean. And you can increase the size if you have a bad eyesight or reduce it if you want. I use the one, which is by default. And for the mini map, top right. So normally you have this big map when you press tab, but you can have also the mini map top right. So it's here and show clock. All it does is the time at the top right either goes over or under the map. So I'm not really sure why it's a setting, but whatever. And text over map, it makes the game name and whatnot. Uh, the text goes, uh, doesn't clutter the screen as much. And obviously you can increase the, the size of the map and make it transparent if you want. I keep it as default. The HD cursor, it's just the LOD cursor if you uncheck that. Motion prediction, that's like the, it makes the game animation look smoother, so now I have it enabled. It might look weird at the start, the first time you use it, but once you get used to it, I think it looks a lot better. So if I remove it, the game is going to look like a lot more choppy. So I keep that on, skip intro doesn't matter, and show FPS is at the bottom, the middle at the bottom. That just removes or enables it. 
So yeah, that's pretty much it for the settings.